नमस्कार वेलकम टू द वर्चुअल क्लास ऑफ ग्रेड फाइव एंड सिक्स साइंस एंड टूडे टॉपिक इज अबाउट इन वॉटिवेट एनिमल्स इन द प्रिवियस एपिसोड वी हैव डन फोर फाइल एंड दे वॉर प्रोटोजोवा Porifera, Cilantrata, and Platyhelminthus. In this episode, we're going to deal with five different phyla and their characters. So, dear children, I hope you have done the homework of the previous episode. After finishing this episode, I'm going to set some of the homeworks for you. So, before that, let's go back and study about. the different characters of five phyla are you ready okay i'm ready now the fifth one is nemanthelmanthus how to pronounce the word nemanthelmanthus so let's learn about the characters of nemanthelmanthus i have written here they have round body they have smooth body and their body is cylindrical like a cylindrical means a long shaped body so smooth is very simple is very smooth okay when you catch them they get a slip from your hands and round a round body very good the next one is they are usually parasites i've told so many times about the parasites i don't think that i need to explain about the parasites or parasitic animals the third one is they have three layers in their body how many layers to children they have three layers in their body and in single word that is known as triploblastic three means three so triploblastic in their body and the next one is some live in water and some live in soil as well so some of the Nemanthelminthus are found in water and some are found on the soil or in the soil and the examples of Nemanthelminthus I have given on the chart there you can see Ascaris means these are the different types of worms round worm and hook worm hook worms like a hook round worms they are round in shape so these are some of the examples if you could see you can but i don't know whether you can see or not if you cannot see let on during the videos you will get the clear picture of nematemantis and examples so these are some of the important characters they are more characters in the book please go to your book and find out about more characters now After finishing Nemanthelminthus, let's go and read about the next one, and that is number six is Arthropoda. Okay, six is. Up there you can see Arthropoda. Sorry, Annelida. Let's talk about Annelida. A N N. L I D A Annelida. So now let's go and find out some of the examples of Annelida. They have first one. They have S E G S E G segmented. They have segmented long. You can say. and round body and round body number 2 is they live in water sorry they live in they live in water and moist soil number 3 they are 
T R I P L triplo plastic animals. Okay. Number four. Their body is covered. with soft and smooth skin. Examples of Annelida, we can say Lich and I have written here Orthworm. Okay, now dear children, these are some of the characters of Annelida. They have segmented long and round body. Segmented means, for example, uh, I'm not a good drawer. Okay, so these are segmented body, segment like this structure, and they are long and they are round. They live in water and moist. You must have seen earthworm. Earthworm is mostly found in soil. What kind of soil? Moist soil. They should be water. If there is no water, then they cannot survive. They are triploplastic animals. Means their body is made up of three layers. How many layers? Three layers have told you about triploplastic animals. Next one is their body is covered with soft and smooth skin. The body is very smooth, it's slippery, it slips from your hands, it's very difficult to catch. If you want to catch earthworm, is it easy or difficult? It's very difficult to catch because their body is very very smooth. And the examples of Annelida or lich, earthworm, earthworm leaves in, in soil and lich leaves in water. These leech are mostly found in the jungle area in the water. Okay, so these are some of the important characteristics of Annelida and please again and again I keep on telling you if you want to find more characters you can go through your books and find out the characteristics of these animals. Now, next one, let's go back and read the next one about uh, Arthropoda. This is item number 7. A R T H R O P O D A. Arthropoda. Now, let's learn the characters of Arthropoda. Now, they have, number one, they have jointed legs. Number two, now, next one is the body is divided into head, thorax and abdomen. Next number three they have heart e x exo k l e t o n exoskeleton and number 4 they have Compound eyes. You can 
सी एग्जाम्पल हाउस फ्लाई पी बटरफ्लाई एंड मोस्टली द इंसेक्ट दैट डे चिल्ड्रेन लेस डिस्कस अबाउट दीज पॉइंट they have jointed legs the legs are jointed joined together to make a long legs next one the body is divided into head thorax and abdomen let me clarify uh suppose this this is a butterfly some are aquatic and some are t e r r teres trial next number 3 is they have mouth tentacles their mouth tentacles and eyes okay now they are also triploblastic number 4 they are also triploplastic they are also triploplastic animals my examples of mollusca i have given here also you can say snail you can say limax and we can say helix now 
let's discuss briefly about these points. Mollusca. Body is soft, very soft body, covered with shell. They have a shell and these molluscans, they live inside the shell to protect themselves from enemies. Some are aquatic. Aquatic means animals that live in water. They are known as aquatic animals. So, some are aquatic and some are terrestrial. Means some live in water and some live on land. Next one, they have mouth, tentacles, eyes. So, these animals have mouth, tentacles to catch the prey and eyes. They are triploblastic. I have said their body is made up of how many layers? Three layers. And the examples are snail, limax and hallux. I have written here if you could see or not. So these are some of the important characteristics of mollusca. I hope you are getting my lines and learning about the different characters of invertebrate animals. The next one, let's go back and the last one, let's read about the last one and the last one is Echinodermata. Last one is Echinodermata number 9. E C H I N O T E R M A T A Echinodermata. It is pronounced as Echinodermata. Now let's learn about the different characters of Echinodermata. Number one, they have spines, spines, uh, they have And the examples are starfish, sea urchin, sea cucumber, okay. So these are some of the examples and characters of a kind of dormata. Let's talk one by one. Uh, for example, uh, I'll try to find out and draw what exactly spines means. So let's, let me draw sea urchin. Sea urchins are of this shape and they have what? Very pointed spines, skinny spines at the outer surface of the body so that they can be protected from the enemies. So spines like nails. So they have spines where? At the outer layer of the body. They have mouth and anus for excretion and injection for eating and throwing out waste materials. They are marine animals means they are found in oceans or in water or seas, starfish, we get starfish in the oceans and seas, sea urchins also we found at the bottom of the sea and sea cucumbers, they are like a cucumber shape, they are on this shape, cucumber shape, I'm sorry, they are of cucumber shape, they are long, like a cucumber. So these are some of the important characters and 
the examples of echinodermata. So dear children, I think I have completed all the invertebrate and their phyla. One more time, you can go through the second and third video again and again and find out the problems that you are facing. So this is the end of the lesson and after this I am going to set some homework for you. Okay, dear children, after completing the animal life, vertebrates and invertebrates, we have come to the end of the chapter of biology section and I have given the homework in episode number 2 and here in episode number 3 also I have three questions for you. Please go through the questions very carefully and write the answers in very neat and clean handwriting. So if you have any doubt regarding the answers of these questions, please everything is given in your book. So make sure turn your book, read once or twice and find the answers. You can get the answers in this video also. So, this much for today. I'll come back with the next lesson in the next episode. Till then, keep learning, keep watching the video and be safe at home. Thank you.